Did you have tournaments where he did the technique against the wrong ones? So I was like, okay, this is so I started doing it. I get it on purple belts all the time in competition. If you've sparred with me before, there's a good possibility I've probably done it to you. Um, maybe Diego will have a bench time on you. So the setup from close guard. And of course, there's different ways to do the arm drag. But what I like to do is I like to get control with whichever arm you prefer. I like to get control of his right arm. I'm going to break this grip. When I break the grip, I'm going to switch to a pistol grip. Now sometimes I'm going to grip it here, depending on what he's doing with his hand. Sometimes I'll grip it here. But let's just say he comes here and I have to grip it here. As soon as I get this tight, I want to come wrist to wrist here. This is a crucial detail because what this is going to do is when I start to drag his arm, it's going to prevent him from grabbing onto me. Mm -hmm. If I'm here and I just grab, he's going to grab onto me, he's going to stop it if he knows what's up. Right, so if I break this free and I come here, if he's stronger than me, he still might be able to grab on, but I have good control here. So detail number one, pistol grip, wrist to wrist. Usually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set it here because I don't want him to immediately start defending here. I want him to think that he might be in danger, but he's not totally in danger. I'm going to wait until he's relaxed a little bit. I'm going to grab the gi behind the tricep. And sometimes I'll just hold it just like this. I'm holding it close to his, close to his uh, body. This prevents him. If I, if I hold it here, he can still grab. So I'm holding it here, right? Detail number two, the grip on the tricep. Detail number three, I'm going to put my foot to his hip, just like this. All right? Now, at this point, you need to speed things up a little bit because he knows he's in a vulnerable position. All right? So detail number three, I'm going to put my foot on his hip. And detail number four is something that I added on my own. I didn't see it in the DVD. I haven't really seen anybody else do it, but I just started doing it myself and I started getting success. The next detail, I'm going to elevate my hips as high as I can, like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a shelf for his arm. When I come down, I'm going to remove the shelf and hip escape. Okay? So basically I have gravity coming with me. I'm here. I have gravity coming with me and I'm here. This is also a very important detail. Do not let go of this sleeve, okay? You keep the sleeve and you keep your arm straight. As soon as I straighten out his arm, I'm going to grab his armpit and pull him into me. Okay? Now I've got him trapped here, unless he's extremely strong, but most of the time I've got him trapped here. All right? So let's, there's a lot of details here, so let's, let's go over them again before we go any further. Detail number one, get control. Wrist to wrist. Wrist to wrist. If I'm here, that's okay. I have good control here. I'm going to rest him here. I'm going to grab behind the tricep. I'm going to wait till he's relaxed a little bit. Foot on the hip. Elevate the hips and stuff the arm. Pinch the, underneath the armpit. Pull him into me. The key to him not pulling his arm back is this grip right here. Boom. And this pinch in the, in the armpit. If I hold him tight, he can't pull, back, he can't pull his arm back. If I'm loose here, or if I let go of this, he's just going to do that. And we're back to square one. So I want to hold this tight. I want to grab him here. Now sometimes the guy will start struggling, and then you, you have some sweeps here. So we're not going to go there right now, but we're just going to show the back team. So because of my age and because of my agility, I can't just climb up on the guy's back. It's too hard for me. So once I get here, I'm going to open my guard, Put this foot on the mat. Put this foot on the mat and hip escape. One, hip escape. Two, hip escape. Three, until I can get control here. Now, if I keep on pulling him, Lawrence is a big guy. Usually I can get it on a big guy. I'm going to keep on creating space until he falls into this pocket. All right, let's go back and start on step one. Tricep, elevate, stuff. squeeze. Hip escape, hip escape, hip escape, back control. All right, we're going to get to this point right here, all right? 
before we go any further. Does anybody have any questions? Anything you want to add to that? I think everything you touched on is really important, especially that grip with the sleeve and lifting that hip up and using that movement to drag the arm across just to raise the red map. All really, really important details. It works, guys. It works really well, believe me. All right, hands up.